were originally produced here. That is interesting. Yeah, so that, so there's this thing called the Whiskey Rebellion where there was such an uproar that people were so angry that they were going to dare tax their beverages. Uh, <laughs> so that was like the first um, national tax in the New Republic. Well, now we know. That's a cool, that's an interesting story. It's so an interesting tidbit, yeah. It is, it is. So Pittsburgh and, and you know, and on a, a bigger arena, you know, our country and I, you know, some of my other guests who are, you know, from places in the USA, we've had, you know, the similar conversations. And I know that, you know, as a country, we've had our challenges, but we're also hopefully there'll be some healing and, and, but what are some things like, like if you, if we had some friends or people outside of the USA and when these COVID travel restrictions lift, where would you suggest that they, they come to visit if they're interested in seeing the USA? It's such a vast, beautiful, diverse country. It is. Yeah. That, you know, I was thinking about that when you sent me the prep for it and I was really kind of struggling mm -hmm. with going, where would I send people? Because I think it depends on what your preferences are. I've traveled in a lot of the major cities. I lived in Boston. I've been to New York. Not that I lived there. Um, been to Chicago. So, I mean, all the big cities have so much to offer as the midsize and the small. And we have urban and natural, like our natural national parks are just stunning. So I think I would, you know, if somebody was coming, I'd be like, what, you know, what are your top three things that interest you? Then it would be easier to direct because there's really something for everybody here. Yeah, I agree that you're right. I mean, there is such great diversity. I mean, I, I spent many years up in the Pacific. Northwest. I've lived in Oklahoma. I'm now in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in Hawaii. My father's from Boston. I have good memories of visiting <laughs> my grandparents in Massachusetts, but you're right. Mm -hmm. and I, you know, I haven't spent a lot of time in the desert, but I know the desert, you know, out, the states out West have, oh, have its own Tree beauty. Is stunning. Yeah. Just stunning. Yeah. So we have a lot to offer here for our and and even just just maybe during this time when we can get out more, I'm I'm thinking even just because I'm not sure I'm ready to get on an airplane anytime soon, but just so things that we can just get in the car and drive and explore parts of the country that we have I have never been to. I've, there's so many things I haven't seen in our own backyard, you know. Me too. And yeah. um, even though I lived outside of the country, it really uh, and it was a while ago. Um, it gave me a greater appreciation for what we do have. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a lot. Oh, so another interesting tidbit. There is a bikeway from Pittsburgh to D.C. called the Allegheny Passage. You can, ride, one, your, go you can ahead. ride your bike. Yeah, from here to there. That's one of the during. I'm just a low grade philanthropist. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't have the resources that um, a lot of other people do, but I've always supported the things that have mattered. And mm -hmm. one of the things is rails to trails. And they're creating a green way from Boston to Florida, I think. I think they're going to make it all the way to Florida. So really expanding um, our access to the natural beauty that we have. Yeah. How long would it take how, uh, to oh, ride your bike? I don't from... even know. I'm not, I'm, uh -huh. not, I'm just, I tell you things. I don't always do them. <laughs> My brother uh -huh. and his wife actually did, did do it and it took them a week. The bike oh, wow. from here to DC. Yeah. yeah. And, but they had support, right? They had trained for a year and um, stayed at inns and they were ready for that. That would be an adventure. Yeah. I like yeah. adventure. <laughs> yeah. I do too. I do too. Sounds and DC, like it. Yeah. DC is another place that I absolutely love. Love it. I think if I were, it would be really a fun, fun city to, a fun place to live if I were young and single. Like many, you know, that would mm -hmm. just, such a just so much going on there I don't think I'd ever be bored it's an international vibrant city for sure my um one of my nephews just graduated um from school in DC um uh, it's just so pretty I have another cousin that lives I have a lot of family down that way oh neat so you have Chesapeake reason. yeah mm -hmm. yeah we we went my husband and I went there a few years ago for our anniversary and I'd never been and I I just was blown away it was one of our best trips ever so got got to spend a week up 
in Virginia wine country and and then a week right in Adams Morgan neighborhood in DC and just saw all the sites and I just can't wait to go back when when this well, yeah when, when they, we're cleared they, yes <laughs> cleared yeah. to ramble again yeah I look forward to it too I'm kind of making a mental list of the people places and things um, yeah, I am too. I'm a great armchair traveler. I think uh, I have all my maps. Like I'll sit out in the Florida room with my cats in the evening before it's time to cook dinner and have my, my travel books or my maps and maybe my glass of wine and just a lot, a lot of trips that my husband have been on have been born for, like, during happy hour time <laughs> just doing a little happy dreaming. hour happy times yeah. yes indeed <laughs> I, I believe the dc trip i just spoke of i i at the time i was i was a, can't talk a subscriber to a oh one of those wine magazines and i think there was a little article about wine country in virginia and dc mm -hmm. area and mm -hmm. i i had never that that's what got me going on that but anyway <laughs> there's one DC. outside of erie actually um erie's just two hours north of here and they have wine country along lake erie into <laughs> western um new york up to niagara Neat. You know, I there. I think they make wine everywhere, don't they? Probably beer too. Probably. I, I think I read somewhere in some wine book that that they actually make wine everywhere. I know you can get wine in Texas and you know North Carolina. You go to um, in Asheville, the Biltmore. I believe that winery they say is the biggest uh, retailer of wine in the the country. That's what I've heard. Wow. The biggest wine so uh, North, North Carolina, you don't think of that as a hotbed place for, for wine, but, but it, it's, they sell, they sell a lot of wine. So mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, we used to drink wine and beer instead of water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever it takes, right? To, to, yeah. 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 Keep, keep happy and healthy and, and, um, gosh, we're going to run out of time. Um, this has been, uh, this, this half hour always goes by so, so quickly. So, um, we just, we have just a, probably a couple minutes left. Is there anything, I mean, is there anything you would like to share with our listeners? Maybe, I don't know if there, if you have a, a work, a website site or anything that people if they wanted to get it work with you and get get acupuncture or is there anything you would like to share i'm happy to do oh help thank you so much deborah you. well my, my website's really easy it's francydesmond.com okay and i made this website um in april during the pandemic so i will need to refresh it as i've changed in the last six months as a lot of other people have and I do offer one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Uh, I, I guide people in pain to find their passion and joy. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm sure that, that when I update, you know, about the show and I'll put together a blog post, we'll be sure to share that website and link on, on my website and, and my social media and get the word out. And it's just been a pleasure to meet you. Um, you know, maybe we'll, I'll make it to Pittsburgh one day. I, you know, it sounds like a fun place. I'm, I really enjoyed hearing about, about your home city there. And I, I hope we stay in touch. I'd like to hear about when you do make it out to, to see in some of, sounds like you have, you just quite an adventurous spirit, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 I am. And thank you so much for the opportunity to talk with you today, Deborah. I think that um, pumping positivity and, and the grid is really my life's work and how that happens changes. Yeah. I thank you, Francie. It's, it's just been a pleasure. So let's, we will stay thank in you. touch and everyone out there listening. Thank you for joining us. This is wonder around the world and I am Deborah DePietro. And for now our time is up, but I hope you've enjoyed your time with me wondering around the world. Perhaps you've been reminded about something wonderful in your own backyard, learned something about a faraway place, or got some ideas for future trips. Here's to keeping wonder alive, moving forward, and connecting with our global neighbors. See you next time.